All right, so I just played No Room in Hell 2 uh, again for the second day, and yes, the bugs are, are still there. So there's heads that are missing, the body's missing, just the heads floating. Uh, also, when you swipe things, it's glitching, like it's laggy when you're doing melee stuff. Um, the graphics seem okay, it seem pretty pretty good for the rendering. Sometimes there's a slight delay, but it's not too bad. Uh, the sound seems really good. I mean, I'm going to give the game probably like 7.5 out of 10. Is it playable? It is. Is it bad? Yeah, it's a little bit. Is it excessively bad? No. Is it minor? A lot of, a lot of minor bugs? Yeah, th there is. Lots of minor little things. But it's the thing, the negative review is a little bit harsh. I think it's a positive game. I think it's a decent game. It just needs a little bit of work. But like I said, it's been in development for a very, very long time. So, you know, I mean... Got to appreciate the time they put into it. But, I mean, and the, the missions are pretty sweet. The little puzzles are pretty cool. They do little, get slightly repetitive. You know, I really wish you could kind of, like, choose your missions before they start off. Instead of just, like, you're just given directions and orders and you have to just do them. Be like to have, it'd be nice to have more custom, customizable things. And spawn points, when you spawn in the game, you should choose which area of the map, which area of the map you want to choose. Like, that'd be great. That'd make it a lot easier. Um, yeah, so other than that, I think the game's all right. It's not too bad. Is it, like I said, is it playable? Yes. Does it function well? It somewhat functions, but it has little minor bugs here and there. It's not a bad game, though. Not a bad effort. All right, see ya, people. If you're new, subscribe. Do a short review. See ya.